Zara is in the car. As you can see, her car seat right here. We are breaking the bands today. We are done and done with having to wear these. We keep them though because they're very special to me. I've never been a NICU mom and experiencing this has been an experience for me. It was very, very stressful. That was breaking the stress for me. My baby was supposed to come home last Sunday. She made it to another Sunday. So now my baby is... We on our way home. <laughs> I'm so excited. I was, I'm, a, I was an, I'm a NICU mom. Look, I had to wear this band every day. For the, um, a lo long enough, okay? I um, experienced many suicidal... Um, thoughts and encounters. Um, I thank God for allowing me to be stronger up here and have my support team. You know, they say um, when our kids are born, they need us, but really we need them more. They were my savior, for real. And I say I was ready to whew, take myself out. And it's not a game, you know, it's really not a game. And that's why when I hear people say, like, you know, uh, this lady committed suicide after having a baby like two weeks later postpartum depression is real this is my sixth baby and that's my first experience with the NICU having a four pound baby when she came out she kept losing color she was dying she wasn't able to breathe on her own hold her own body he she was losing weight already being four pounds I'm like Lord please don't allow this to be a two month experience as it was for some people but even my bags are starting to lighten up like it's been hectic and very stressful and I'm just happy that it's over and we did it shout out to all the NICU moms out there hold it down and keep God as number one because he was my wave maker and he'll definitely be yours so with that being said, I am a proud mom. I'm done with this NICU, yeah, and I'm done life. with having babies. Six is more than I bargained for. <laughs> so keep watching, keep following. You know I'm going to have updates, and I love y'all. Thanks for the support on my channel.